Hey there friends, this is Aisha back with the second part of this lovely, lovely cover that I'm about to complete for you. I am creating my hardcover journal and so I have taken to finishing the first uh, part of it which is the outside cover. It's a one and a half inch spine and it is uh, five and three quarters by nine in length and so I am now going to cover the inside which requires this uh, pale blue you might not be able to make it out but it's a pale blue to match the cover and I will be able to use half of this uh, the outer seam here so when you're cutting the inside never mind if you're not getting it quite straight because no one will be seeing that okay now I've got my glue and I'm going to use the uh, tacky glue this is craft tacky glue and you know I've also I've tried um, the Eileen's I think it's pronounced uh, glue and that's good as well and this reminds me of that this one says craft tacky glue and I'm actually liking it the consistency is nice and thick it is not runny I tried using one um, I ditched the bottle after not enjoying the texture of it but I tried one the other day and it was very, very runny and so it made your work, um, it took longer to dry and it was just unpleasant. Um, and of course the Mod Podge can work, but I any consistency, I prefer that it be a little bit thick. Um, so I'm going to put some glue into my little cover here and... get going oh I made a little bit of a mess here -hee 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 -hee. one second and you know I have I have uh, a baby wipe somewhere and I cannot put my finger on it you don't even want to know Okay, so I'm going to get started. I've got my brush. I've got a piece of cloth to just wipe off the edges because I'm not able to find my baby wipes, which I'm not happy about. So let's get going. So we want to be able to glue this sheet onto this base which will then um, give us actually I did the matching of this inside sheet here for this cover is so well that you just might not be able to see the outside area right around the edges here because I took it very close to the edge because my outside was not cut uh, in well enough so it's very important to give yourself some extra space I believe at these sides because it will assist you in any possible mistakes or hiccups that you can get the more space you have here the better my opinion anyways so let's get started once this is on and you start uh, smoothing it down, you're basically finished. But for me, I think I was struggling a bit with um, just making sure that I stay in the parameter of my paper. So now I'm trying to safeguard myself as I work to make sure that I get it quite right. And the best way that I found for that 
was to put a little at the edge of my uh, cover base here once I'm finished at the bottom here because if you start with the paper here first you might soak the stuff in too far um, into your sheet making it too wet and sappy and um, you might not want that and I would say ideally you want to make sure you have a brush that's going to give you a lot of coverage because mine is not and it's making the process too slow. I'm actually going to put some of the glue as I've seen some of our friends do right onto my sheet. Especially when it's thick like this, it's, it helps if you saturate it right onto your base. And I like how it's going right now. This is better. Now once this is all finished, you'll have to go back and smooth out um, the glue. And you might have some seepage. So be prepared for that and have your wipes ready. And this glue dries clear. You want to make sure that whichever glue that you're using, that it dries clear so you're able to disguise as much as possible your mistakes. <laughs> Yeehaw! So yes, this is why I prefer the technique of having the double-sided tape first um, for the outside cover because that's less mess for me and I only have to use this glue once. Now just in the event that you miss the edges you can always go back and do that once you're finished but you know, the less you have to do that, the better. So, I'm going to see where I stand now. And... Not too bad. I'm going to do the other side. Now, the, f the wonderful thing about using wet glue, of course, is that you can go back and tweak, which is what you will sometimes have to do. And I'm just pulling a little bit up on the other side because... It was not set to, to my satisfaction. So now I'm going to go and work the... Am I happy with it? It's not bad. It's not bad. Now, again, this is handcrafted. You're not going to, you know, get it AA perfect or all the time but it's got to be pleasing to the eye and that's what I'm trying to achieve so I noticed that mine is not fully equal at both ends there's a tad less here but I'm satisfied I'm just gonna clean off this extra glue at the base here and I'm going to hurry up and finish this side because I don't want this glue to start drying. So I've basically now lifted up the opposite side of my sheet here. And I'm going to do the same to this half. So what I find, I, I find it easier to um, work one half and then go back in and work the other half. Again... You'll notice that 
all of the ladies they have their own little shtick, their own little techniques. Um, this just happens to be mine because I'm able to manage the sheet. So we're not all able to handle stuff the same. But as they say, there's more than one way destination to certain um more more than one <laughs> road to get to a destination. It's whichever you're comfortable with, but we're all aiming to achieve the same thing. So, I'm going to finish off my corners here. I'm feeling quite confident about it. I know I have to go back in and um, check my corners when I'm finished. And that's okay. You want to make sure that your corners are taken care of. Because you don't want your journal to start peeling at the edges. At any point in time. So I'm ensuring that my edges are covered. And like I said earlier, guys, oh, it feels so wonderful. I checked, it's about, it's two weeks since I've been away, and how time flies. I've been so busy prepping for my birthday. I'm holding, I'm hosting a meet and greet for singles, guys. I'm hosting a meet and greet. I did not give myself as much time to um, advertise as I should have, so I'm leaving it in the hands of God, and I'm doing it in lieu of my birthday. That's why I'm pushing through and doing it, because I want to do something that would make a difference. And you give out of your your own need, and so I want to be able to bring people together. We can discuss and eat and mingle and just have a good old time and make some connections. And, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. All right, so I'm going to get this other side down. I'm using a piece of tissue to assist me in flattening this top sheet. Make sure that I reduce the possibility of too much glue getting on my fingers and missing my baby wipes that I should have had nearby. That is something that you need to know where it is and you need to have more than one, just in case. Okay, so, oh, I'm mighty shaking and please forgive me. I just raised my head and noticed what crazy stuff was going on there. Okay, so I'm going to close this and set my glue aside. I've got to rinse those out after, but um, now we're into the smoothing time. We're going to do some smoothing. Um, I want you to make sure that you seek out this the spine because we want to make sure that that uh, gets some tension. So once you find your spine, just run your, um, what do you call this again, guys? Your something bone. <laughs> My mind is not working. It's late. It's like 11 something. Um, okay, so you just run some pressure all the way down one of the creases there and then you do the same to the other because if you if you were going to lift this without doing if you were going to lift this up fully before uh defining your the groove in the spine you would find that it will um just raise up in the center and just that would be travesty it would just mess up your whole cover 
so you don't want that. So defining just gently but with pressure define your spine well and then go back in and smooth out as much as possible now some people said if you have the brayer you could also use that um, I'm just using my bone folder my bone folder I'm not liking where I have this um, my camera set up because it's shaking and I don't want you guys to be annoyed <laughs> and you know well, I don't want to watch this girl stuff her camera shakes all the time so um, I don't know if you can see this but right here I don't know here Right there, you see the, the glue is seeping through the top. And um, that's the reason why I'm not sure for others, but that's why it's so important, I believe, to make sure that when you're using your glue and whatnot, when you have the excess, you want to smooth it out. If not, it's going to dry and it's going to be lumpy under underneath. And that's not pretty. So, I'm working to get rid of that, so that that's not part of my work. Okay. And I'm liking it very much. I'm going to continue to smooth out my sheet. Now, ideally, as much as possible, don't smooth it out to the corners because then you'll get too much of that. So do it away from you, not to you. So you don't have to deal with all of that glue sipping through. But again, if your glue is a thick glue, then you're not going to have that much of a runny... Um, business to deal with so I'm just smoothing out my cover taking out any bubbles as well it reduces the bubbles of the that could be in the paper underneath when you were putting it on and all of the air bubbles you reduce it when you smooth out your top sheet and I repeat you will especially if your glue is thick and you put on too much you will get some stuff to deal with that comes out so just take your time and press down and take out as much of the air bubbles and any glue that might be under there that's runny and I'm gonna wipe mine off right now And don't be like me. Make sure you have your wet wipe nearby. So your hands don't get messy. I'm using tissue, which is not 100% good if you're not confident in what you're doing because then it could mess up your work and you don't want that. So FYI, I repeat, have your wet wipe nearby so you use the right thing to clean off 
your work when you're working. And I should be finishing up just about now. Oh! Oh my goodness. I am not liking what I just saw. I had that camera just going crazy and this is like way too many times so everything went well with the exception that I should have had my baby wipes nearby so don't be like me get your baby wipes I'm gonna go back in and make sure that my spine is well taken care of with my bone folder and um, I hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing I'm still being finicky and smoothing out my top. And um, like I said, I've made a number of um, hardcover journals myself, but... Um, I'm not, I don't consider myself a pro by any means as yet. I'm still learning uh, to get it just right. I want to be able to get to the point of doing it where I'm not being... I don't know if you ever get out of that sense of satisfaction or timidness. So I'm not out of the timid, you know, stages. I'm always wanting to make sure that I get, get it just right. Um... So, you see what I have, and I just want to thank you. This is Young's Paper Creations. We've got our journal cover, our hardcover journal, and I noticed my battery just said that it's dying, guys. My battery's low. So, this is it, and um, I hope you learned something that you didn't know before. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and dry and it's gonna be good to go this is my hardcover journal that we made together okay thank you for joining me i will come back and show you what i've done after okay take care take care bye bye and thank you